Planet Earth can't even be sufficient without the rain. It doesn't produce rain, you know. Sunshine, it doesn't produce the sun. The wind, it doesn't produce the wind. All planet Earth produces is uh, the dead bodies of humanity. That's its only creation. Everything else comes from outer space, from unknown regions. Humanity's life depends upon the unknown knowledge is laughable when attributed to a human being. Astro timeless immortality, astro thought in mystic sound, astro black of outer space, astro natural darkness dark, astro reach beyond the stars, how to endless endlessness, astro black cosmo. The universe is in my voice. The universe speaks through this song to those of Earth and of the world. Listen while you have the chance. Find your place among the stars. Get in tune with a world with all multiplicity. Melody, horizon speed, astro black and cosmo dog, astro black and cosmo dog, astro black and cosmo dog. One day it will happen, could be happening now, that a voice from another dimension will speak to Earth. You might as well practice and be prepared for it. And darkness was ignorance, along came wrong. When the world was in darkness, and darkness was ignorance, along came wrong. The living men, the living men, the living men. Yeah. 
I have many names. Many. Names of mystery. Names of, mystery. Names, of splendor. names of splendor. Names of shame. Names of shame. I have many names. Many. Some call me Mr. Ra. Some call me Mr. Ra. Others call me Mystery. You can call me Mr. Mystery. Chaos on this planet is due to the music that musicians are playing that they're forced to play by some who just think of money and don't realize that music is a spiritual language and it represents the people of earth. When musicians are compelled to play anything, it goes straight to the throne of the creator of the universe and that is how he sees you according to your music. Because, see, music is a universal language, and what you call musicians to play is what goes to the creator as your personal ambassador and your personal nemesis. <laughs> All the churches you got and all the schools you got, all the governments you got, you're supposed to have a better planet than this. Well, then man has failed spiritually, educationally, governmentally, he's failed. Well, then, he should be a good spoke and say, I give up, I need help. Well, I'm right here as a bridge for them to, uh, to get help. And they could listen to see, what am I talking about? They'd get a surprise because I'm talking about equations that are in their books. Books from way back in ancient Egypt and Greece and Rome, and their philosophers been talking a touch of everything I'm talking. <laughs> Calling planet Earth! Calling planet Earth! Calling planet Earth! All in planet Earth, I am a different order of being. All in planet Earth, I am a different order of being. I will be coming your way soon. Planet Earth, all in planet Earth, I will be visiting you soon. On every hill, every dale, every valley, every home, every person, I am a different order of being. 
I represent a different kind of horizon, another kind of sunrise, another kind of sunset. Sunrise, sunset, same sun is shining that was shining then. Every song I write tells a story, a story that humanity needs to know about. In my music, I speak of unknown things, impossible things, ancient things, potential things. No two songs tell the same story. They say that history repeats itself. But history is only his story. You haven't heard my story yet. My story is different from his story. My story is not part of history. Because history repeats itself. But my story is endless. It never repeats itself. Why should it? A sunset does not repeat itself. Neither does the sun rise. Nature never repeats itself. Why should I repeat myself?
think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Somehow ancient Egypt is thought of as a kingdom of bondage. It would be better to say the kingdom of discipline. The kingdom of precision. The kingdom of culture, beauty, art. It would be better to say that because this is the proof of it. The stones speak. The stones are speaking through vibrations of beauty, vibrations of discipline, vibrations of precision. Yes, the stones speak to the people of planet Earth. If teenagers are lost, it is because they have been fed upon the word freedom, not discipline. Well, Sunrise is a nice group that uh, I live a few doors away from Sunrise. Is a nice group. The uh, players who uh, perform in Sunrise are nice men because I see them every day. And Sunrise music is good music. And one of them owns the store, and they be into like the space and things like that. And they are right people. Yeah, uh, this, the store right here was started because uh, I felt that something needed to be done in the neighborhood for uh, the ones who would listen, the young ones who would listen, and uh, believe in discipline. And I believe you know, children should be taught discipline from a young age. And when they get older, it won't be no problem. Uh, I've been over here about a year and a half. Uh, at the Pharaoh's Den. And another reason the store was started, I want to do something in the name of the ancient Pharaoh. And very few people do things in the name of the ancient Pharaohs. Well, now you see right over there, I got to sign space at the place. So I try to teach the children about space, out of space, um, precision and discipline. And like on the outside of my sign, it says Pharaoh fed the nation of the world for seven years. So, I might be here seven years, maybe. They say that the language of ancient Egypt is no longer spoken. But nature never loses anything. It is still spoken. I'm sitting in front of the White House, looking over across the street, but I don't see the Black House. That's where it ought to be, because you can't have a White House if you don't have a black house. In fact, you can't have anything unless you have a comparison. You can't have a good government unless you got an evil government. You can't have righteousness unless you got the wicked with you. You can't have anything without this parallel and this opposite. This is something that the people are very uh, unaware of. You can't have a justice department that goes out looking for only criminals and never go out looking for people who are doing good. You can't have justice if you penalize people for doing wrong and don't do anything to help them when they're trying to do right. Sunrock, could you tell us why you're here tonight? Well, just like to play a requiem for uh, Trevor Johnson, a former uh, member of the band who left the planet about three weeks ago. Does this have any special meaning for you? The requiem? Well, it'd be the first time one was wrote for a poor, unfortunate man.
those of the reality have lost their way. Now they must listen to what myth has to say. Those of the reality have been bruised and beaten by the truth. Those of the reality have been slaves of a bad truth. So there's nothing left now but the myth. The myth is neither bad nor good. Its potentials are unlimited. Somewhere else on the other side of nowhere, there's another place in space beyond what you know as time. where the gods of mythology dwell. Gods that are not real to you. Gods who have created the illusion that they do not exist to the people of planet Earth. These gods dwell in their mythocracy, opposed to your theocracy and your democracy and your monocracy. They dwell in their mythocracy, a magic world that makes things to be. These gods can even offer you immortality. this myth to be potential. They hold their truths to be self-evident. But our myth is not self-evident because it is a mystery. I'm not part of history. I'm more part of the mystery, which is my story. Respected saxophone players in the country stayed so many years with Sun Ra? Well, he was the first one to really introduce me in the high forms of music, you know, past what you might would say, what Bird and Monk and the fellows were doing. I didn't think anybody was ahead of them <laughs> until I met Sun Ra, you know. And I played with him on and off for about six months. And I could read real well. I'd just come out to Army playing solo clarinet, so reading was no problem. 
any of the music that he showed me. I could read it pretty well, but I didn't really understand it. I couldn't hear it for about six months. Then one night, I heard it. <laughs> we were playing this number Saturn. I had been playing it for six months every time we worked. But then I really heard the intervals this one night. And I said, my gosh, this man is more stretched out than Monk. It's unbelievable that anybody could write any meaner intervals than Monk or Mingus, you know. But he does. His intervals, knowledge of intervals and harmony, very highly advanced, you know. So when I saw that, I said, well, I think I'll make this to stop, you know. About 10 years ago, the New York Times stated that I had bypassed the space age, and I have. But the space age can be a bridge to the omniverse age. And that's what I'm talking about to members of the band, hoping that they will make it because it's judgment day for them as well as for everybody else, as to whether they can be accepted by something that's totally pure and eternal. And it's not based on righteousness, and it's not based on evil. As I said, they're teaching that God wants all the righteous people, and they're teaching that the devil wants all the unrighteous ones. But they can't get in my band that way. They might can get in God's heaven by being righteous and get into the devil's kingdom by being unrighteous. That won't help them with me. There's about six or seven of us. There's Marshall Allen, Elo Olmo, Jackson, Danny Thompson, Sunra, and myself, and guests that come through, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's always a place downstairs or some somebody. But basic, basically speaking, it's between six and seven of us living here at all times, you know. What a well, it works out fine, man. <laughs> Organizes, 
is everything works out unbelievable. <laughs> well, you know, like you chaos, mean, but it just it just works out. It comes right on in the go. It's it's hard it's hard to even put down in words yeah, on the paper like water, fine, or on film. You, it's like you couldn't say how that works out. Really, <laughs> it just works out. It just <laughs> works. It's you know. You can get somebody from Timbuktu, man. You know, if well, Sonny got that ability that leaders have of being able to pick the person that's gonna fit, and they fit. You know, whether it's for one gig, ten gigs, or for the rest of time. You never know when rehearsal is gonna be. It might be at four in the morning. It might be at six in the morning. It might be from six in the morning to To twelve at night. (laughs) Right. It, you know, it might be any time, you know, you just have to be ready. Uh, if you're out some way, you have to come on back in, and, you know, and get a rehearsal. It just... That hurt the social life? Social life? No. And music. You know, you got folks, when folks, folks go out to hear music, right? Now that's their social life, right? Well, I'm getting my social life here. I be mean, music all night. You know. It's, sometimes it's tough, you know. But the sincerity of wanting to be a part of the music, you don't really mind it, you know. You had to give up time, right? You had to give up a lot of uh, pleasures you want to get into, like maybe going out to enjoy yourself. You can't do it because you got to stay here and rehearse, you know. But once you get into the music, you forget all about the other thing that was happening because the music have you so into it that the rest of it don't even matter. Son Ra lives. If he's a leader and you follow the leader, you live where the leader lives. It, you know, it's it's the easiest thing to me anyway. Now anyway. I basically choose musicians who believe in orchestration, discipline, and precision. Not too many musicians have demonstrated that.
Uh, I named this drum, or rather Sun Ra did, named this drum uh, an ancient infinity lightning wood drum. Uh, it got lightning wood from the fact that it was uh, taken from a tree that was struck by lightning directly in back of me, which is, you can see the remains of it, the stump right opposite the fence on the other side of the fence. And the tree was standing directly opposite the house, 5626 Morton Street. Now, uh, when lightning struck the tree and they came to cut down the remains of the tree and take it off, uh, I saw a large piece of the wood, a large piece of the tree, and decided to, uh, well, I'd been told I needed a drum anyway. He told me one day and the next day, lightning struck the tree across the street from the house, and <laughs> that started the drum. So I spent a summer hollering it out and figuring out how to put a head on it and doing a base relief carving on the face of it, on the body of it, which is uh, a verse out of the Book of the Reawakening, which is an Egyptian book, commonly known as the Book of the Dead. I had played drums, you know, on and off, but just, you know, hand drums, kunga drums, but I didn't really know anything about drumming except what I had picked up from other people. But uh, Sun Ra, of course, showed me a whole nother idea about drumming. It's better to deal with the people who have intuition now. You see, they don't know what they're doing. The ones who do know what they're doing haven't proven anything.
the police knocked on the door. One of them said that uh, they had some complaints from the neighbors, and uh, he it's because of a noise or something like that. Because of music, that's what he said. And I told him I wasn't playing no music, I was playing a jarful noise, and that's what the Bible said. It says, uh, make a jarful noise to the Lord. <laughs> myself am rising up above uh, what they call liberty and what they call equality. And whatever man thinks is the greatest thing, I have to rise above that because I have to judge a tree by the fruit. I don't like what I see. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm not looking for liberty. I'm not looking for equality. I am uh, moving forward with my music, universal language, expressing things of value. And if there are some people who want to listen, they're welcome. I'm just like the birds, they sing. Those who like can listen, and those who don't, don't have to. You know, as follow the leader, there's not too many people that do that anymore, except children. They're, you know, in games, there was, uh, I think everybody remembers the games that they played as children, follow the leaders, you know, and the, the one that made the best leader was the one that did the most outlandish thing, or the thing that was, uh, not normal or, or the thing that wasn't common or the thing that was uh, the most um, like a, a pilgrim like thing or you know they they went to n new frontiers or they did something that no one else thought to do you people of planet earth, people of planet earth. you're on the spaceship earth, you're on the spaceship earth. Destination, unknown. destination unknown <laughs> That's what leadership is about. If you got a natural leader, and that's what Sun Ra is, to me, a natural leader, then uh, whatever he says, 
uh, I don't really think about it. I just react and, you know, do what is, you know, do what I'm told to do. That way I've done an incredible amount of things that I don't know about, you know. Like building the drum, I didn't, you know, I don't know anything about drums for real. I mean, you know, on a conscious level of saying I'm a drum builder. Leaders are not included in uh, the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution. This is a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Left leaders out. Of course, when you make a declaration of government, that's what it becomes. So this government is one side. It's, it's a government of the people, for the people, and by the people, and it has no place for leaders. That's why I don't consider myself as part of it, because it hadn't anything for me. Anytime you set up a government just for the people and leave leaders out, it's most certainly the worst type of discrimination. You still got a man head of the Ku Klux Klan saying that the, the, the black people have contributed as much to Western civilization as the horse. So actually, uh, since I don't consider myself as uh, one of the humans, uh, I'm a spiritual being myself. I'm sure I can contribute more than the horse to any kind of person because they're all here today and going tomorrow anyway. And you might say that no man is contributing anything to anything. He doesn't stay here very long, you know, and then he's headed out somewhere else where he has no power. I feel that the men on this planet would be honest with themselves. They would see that they have no power whatsoever. To get involved in a particular situation of a time zone, a generation, uh, or a country, uh, any sort of thing that would make a man think that he is, you might say, God, the kind that has absolute authority, is uh, fooling oneself. I know I myself would never want to be God, or even like God, because uh, God got all these human beings on this planet, and I most certainly wouldn't want to be responsible for them. I even have uh, the disgrace that I made them. I tried to bypass this planet because the people here are not really spiritual, and I'm a spiritual being. So I've tried very hard to bypass it. I think I'm going to fail. Because I think some people on this planet are going to wake up to realize that it's the unknown that they need to know in order to survive.
lot of people have tried to contain me or to limit me. But you see, that is not my type of being, to be limited. You might call me a catalyst. A catalyst changes everything, but it remains unchanged. I've been called that. The Baroness Rothschild says that I'm a catalyst. So if you get one person on the planet to say that you are something, you've got something to work with. So it's two of us say that I'm a catalyst. I am looking for people to make Judgment Day a reality and to realize that neither God or anybody else is going to judge humanity. They have to do the judging as to what is proper for them to survive. Now, they can judge whether I'm really telling a lie or whether I'm telling the truth. And if I'm telling a lie, they have to judge whether the lie is more profitable to them than the truths that they know. So therefore, I'm paving the way for humanity to recognize the myth and become part of uh, my mythocracy instead of their theocracies and their democracies and the other ocracies they got. They can become part of the magic myth, the magic touch of the mythocracy because everything that's unknown is part of the myth. And I'm sure that the myth can do more for humanity than anything they ever dreamed is possible. They say that history repeats itself. 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 Repeats itself. But history is his story. It's not my story. What's your story? <laughs> 